Hey everyone, welcome back to Raw Cards and Collectibles. Today we are going to open up another booster box of Battles of Legend Crystal Revenge. And for a giveaway for the end of November, we're going to be giving away this Nest Ball and Tinglu EX. Uh, both cool cards, you know, very nice gold, cool color, you know, got the, uh, the Nest Ball is in good condition. The Tinglu EX has like a little whitening on the top, but... I figured someone would like to have them. So all you gotta do is like, comment, subscribe, and you'll be entered for the giveaway for them. Let's get right into this. Oh, it's been a while since I've opened some of this. Hopefully we can get us to Starlight out of the last three booster boxes I have. Uh, then we're gonna be opening some Pokemon Go coming up, and then more Crown Zenith, and... I still have some Scarlet and Violet ETBs and Poudia Evolved as well. So we're going to be opening a lot of stuff. Uh, Astro Radiance, Shine of Faith, Brilliant Stars, um, just a lot of stuff. I'm going to try to keep up with the Paradox Rift and, uh, set. And uh, you know what, I'll just grab them from here. Try to keep up with the newest sets as best as I can, but bear with me because uh, I just put out a ton of money lately, so... I'm going to do the best I can, and we'll see see what we can do. Stonehenge, Crystal Skull, Todoroki, the Earthbolt Star, Senko, the Skybolt Star, G Golem, Invalid Domain. Domain, or is it Domain? Sorry, these sleeves will not stay up. Oh, I hate these freaking boxes of sleeves when you buy them by the case. I've said this a million times, I know, and they're probably tired of hearing it. But I cannot stand these sleeves. They come with um, dust and stuff all over them. They come bowed a little bit. And they're just annoying. Crystal Skull, DD Crow. But, you know, them are the, I like, you know, I like these sleeves. You know, they're uh, Dragon Shield sleeves. They're what I like. So, you know, we'll see. Dang, two in a row. That's crazy. Man, look at that, though. There's just nothing but dust all over them. It's been a little while since we opened these. Three booster boxes I have left, including this one. So this and two more. Hoping I can get one more uh, Starlight Rare out of one of these three booster boxes. I would love to get the... Exodia Head or the Access Code Talker, obviously, but I'll take whatever I can get. I did pull the Yada Garasu, if you remember, and the Super Polymerization out of the first booster box. The Super Poly was like almost $200, and it just tanked. It's like $125 now, and the Yada Yatu Garasu, or Yadi, Yada Garasu, uh, was like $100, $125 maybe, and it's like $75 now, so... And see that? See, that's what I'm talking about. Little debris, little dust pieces in all the sleeves. Drives me nuts. So yeah, a lot of the cards and the Exodia head. I, I paid, an, oh man, I paid $660 uh, plus tax and everything. It turned out to be $710. Uh, $710 I paid for the Exodia head. And now it's like $400. Um, but it was a, about $550 to $600. $600 might have been a little bit high. But um, that was like the top. But I paid six sixty because I thought it would grade a ten, and sure enough, it did grade a ten. So uh, PSA ten of the Exodia Head Starlight is like eight fifty to nine hundred at the lowest. So um, you know, I, I still increased the value a little bit from seven hundred and ten, but I spent seventy five dollars to grade it, I believe. And shipping, it was like a hundred, so I'm in it into it for about eight hundred and ten. It's worth eight fifty nine hundred. So, you know, didn't didn't bring the value up too much, but I didn't lose either, so that's good. I actually got a right leg of an Exodia off someone on eBay for eighty five dollars, eighty dollars and five shipping the other day. Now it did have a print line down it, which is really disappointing because I wanted to grade it, but um, I tried grading my other right leg of Exodia Starlight and I got a nine. So I got this one, you know, paid uh, 
very cheap price you know 85 dollars is cheap there's still 150 160 for the right leg uh, i believe it's the most expensive part besides the head still um but yeah always good to you know get a starlight for that kind of discount it's like i paid 50 percent of market for it i don't know why he sold it that cheap i'm guessing it's because of that print line because i wouldn't i probably wouldn't have bought it if i had known that but even with a print line for that price it's almost worth it you know Sorry, I'm just trying to shake some of these little pieces of um, debris out of these sleeves. We're up to five access code talkers right now. We got one out of a random uh, sleeve booster pack from Walmart. And we've gotten four out of the booster boxes. So we'll see if we can't pull something good and if or a starlight if we can't pull a starlight hopefully we can pull another access code talker thunderball heroic call a rainbow bridge doodle beast tyranno give me one second here i'm gonna get more sleeves this is actually my last pack of sleeves so i'll be spending another I don't know. I think the Japanese are 60 or 70, and the normal size is like 90 to 100. But I'm going to have to drop some more money. See that when you open these, look at, like, see it there. It's hard to see when it's a full, when it's a full uh, pack. But there is a ton of excess cardboard and just mess, mess in there. It's just a mess. I mean, it's it's not, you know, you can always pull it out and get the little pieces of cardboard off or debris. But uh, that's just not something you want in your card sleeves, you know what I mean? You want them to stay pristine. You don't want them, you know, you just don't want that. This is a dry booster box so far, I'll tell you that. Nothing crazy so far. Chaos Space uh, and the Evil Twin, probably the best we've gotten so far. How many of you have, if you're, you know, here for Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh, how many of you have gotten the new uh, Vault X SV4 binders? Who pre-ordered them? I can't wait to get them. Uh, I got the Scarlet and Violet Base Set binders, special edition ones. Um, I got the Pouty Evolve ones. I got the White Edition. I got two Obsidian Flames, two White Editions, two Pouty Evolves, and one of the first Scarlet and Violet Base. And then I ordered one of this new Scarlet and Violet SV4 Vault X binder. Uh, but it's one, it's like rainbow, sort of like the Pouty Evolve, but different colors. And uh, it might be my favorite one so far. The white edition sounds silly when you think about it. They had all the normal colors and they just never had white. So, you know, it's just a white binder. You think, you know, it's not, not fancy, but it does have the felt like lining in the front and says first edition, I'm sure. But, um, yeah, I love the white edition. I just love the way the, you know, the color of the cards in a white binder uh, just pops. That's why I use white sleeves for my Pokemon cards. I wish I would have bought white sleeves for my Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I bought the clear ones. You know, I, f I feel like that might have been a mistake. Because um, now, if I ever want to change, it'll drive me nuts trying to mix them together. So I would probably have to start replacing all of my cards with new sleeves. So, I got new lights. What do you think about the lights? How is the lighting? I got two new, brand new Abizi. Is it UBZ or Abizi? UBZ or EBZ uh, lights. Two tripod lights. One on each side of me right now. Um, bigger ones. Not the ring light that I had. So it should look, it should look a lot better. Yeah. Comment down below. Let me know what you think of the lighting. Hopefully we can get a microphone soon if I can figure out how it works. I think I, I mean I'm assuming you just hook it up through Bluetooth or something and it just works and it just makes the quality better on your video. But I'm just not sure if I'm just not sure if it uh, if I'm recording it you know just on my iPhone like I do, is that difference in sound gonna pick up through the microphone or does it have to be 
hooked up through the phone somehow? I don't know. Comment down below. Does a microphone need to be hooked to your phone somehow? Or is it just like connect or Bluetooth? Or do you just turn the power on and when you speak into it, it just sounds clearer on your phone? Uh, let me know how that works if you've got a microphone. Tune page flip. Getting down to the last few pages here. They start to get really covered in the cardboard that flakes off. As you can see. That is the last one actually. We don't got many packs left. This was a very, very dry booster box, but you never know. I was saying that Crown Zenith, I was having real dry hits, and then I got the Garatina V-Star Gold card, so you never know. Hopefully we get some last pack magic. Sorry, I forgot to get these out. Uh, last pack magic, and get us a Starlight on one of these last packs, but we will see. Down to three packs after this one. And we really did not get anything good out of this booster box. Even the cheaper secret rares, we didn't really get much. Sorry if my hands were a little out of view for a minute. Stonehenge, G Golem, Pebble Dog, Black Wings, Rock of the Dawn, Advanced Crystal Beast, Topaz Tiger. Oh, not there. That's not where she goes. Thunderball, Amazonist Hall, Crystal Beast, Topaz Tiger, Cinco the Skybolt Star, the Chaos Creator. We're down to the last pack, guys. This is the last pack. Let's see if we can get some last pack magic. If not, I apologize. <laughs> uh, it's probably a pretty boring video uh, for the hits, you know. But it is what it is. Oily Cicada, Chaos Daedalus, Crystal Beast, Emerald Tortoise, Todoroki the Earthbolt Star, and the Chaos Creator again. That's going to do it, guys. That was a crappy booster box, but, you know, it happens sometimes. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe. We're going to be giving these away. I'm going to try to uh, pull some Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Maybe give them away, too, because I know some of you are here for Yu-Gi-Oh, not, you know, not Pokemon. But I appreciate the support. Uh, see you on the next one. Thanks.